hello guys another video here today i'm gonna show you how to generate a proximity key or a smart remote using the kill to max so the first thing we're gonna do is we go to a vehicle remote and then depending on the vehicle that we're working on we're gonna select it and like in this case let's say that we're working on a ford and then right here it'll say prox that means proximity and then you can select the vehicle and um, at first it tells you all remotes right here but if you're gonna if you want to go to vehicle just depending like the mode of the vehicle that you're working on uh, you just select it right there let's say that we working on an escape it gives us the proximity key right here so make sure the um, double check the FCC ID and then before generating make sure that you connect it to the wi-fi and then we're gonna open the I already opened this one we're gonna open the back piece and remove the the board and make sure you have a battery on it if not it won't you the machine it won't read it and then place it back right in the back right there and close it up so we place the remote on the coil and then we select the remote that we want to generate so we go and generate remote all right after it's complete so it's ready to program to the vehicle and then if we see right here original remote has five button and then on the on this x holes remote has just four button what i like to do sometimes the the remote start i like to put it right here on the panic so this x holes remote it won't have the panic button instead the panic uh, it'll be the the remote start so the way that i do that it's i go back you know after programming to the vehicle uh so uh, the the remote starts the vehicle and, every, and everything locks and locks and then we go to a special function we go to um the re remote function again right here the bbdi remote function and then we go to a smart key customization and then we got this screen we're gonna place the, the smart key on the on the coil again and then we're gonna read it so what i like to do i always like to take a picture of this screen um, before moving the numbers in, in case we want to put it back uh, later on so we're gonna swap the numbers if we see right here the start it's the number 80 and the panic is 08 we tap on on there so we're gonna go to 08 and then 80 right here so and then we go settings make sure you tap settings to save it so right now it's it's already um saved and then and then we try it so on this panic button instead of the panic it'll be the remote start that's how you change the uh, the settings on the remote so if the customer doesn't want the remote start so we change the number back so we change the number back 80 and then 08 but what we can do too is if if the the customer wants the remote start on the trunk on the trunk button right here we just change the number of the start to the trunk and then save by hitting settings so yeah um so that's how you do it the same process if you want to generate a different vehicle let like, let's say like nissan um you just select the vehicle and select the model of the vehicle is you always the first thing it gives you the old remotes but in this case we're gonna select by model you know go to altna and then the same thing we tap on it and generate and then you'll be ready to program it and then if the remote has the remote start on it just just go to remote function where i show you 
um, right here and then go to the BBDI remote function smart key customization and and just read it so yeah that's pretty much it and thank you for watching I hope this video gave you some information and like and subscribe for more videos like this take care